All right. Well, welcome to the Young Entrepreneurs Syndicate podcast. Got Jim Riley here and Rod Kuntz. On hey, everybody. This, uh, I don't know. In Montana, it's a snowy winter Wednesday, day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I, I sent out on Instagram this morning a, a post with a giant snowball. <laughs> and so far, you were the only one who actually captioned it. So I'm waiting for more. Well, you know, I call it extreme snowball fight. And that's because at my house with my kids, they created extreme hide and seek. So, you know, I've got seven acres of pasture out here. You stand on the deck of the house and you count to, well, two minutes and then you go, you know, hide in the pasture somewhere. So right. <laughs> imagine having seven acres to go hide in, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's a tough job. So I just thought, oh, extreme snowball fight for you. Yeah, they're not digging foxholes or anything, are they? No, they're <laughs> no, but they're they're laying in the weeds that are three feet tall. There you go. I might need to come out and play in and well, get them you, on my team. Yeah, you know what it reminds me of, Rod, is that you know, uh, having fun could be hard work sometimes. You know, yes. and, and running in a big yard and and rolling a big snowball is is hard work, and that that's the theme that I wanted to put in today was hard work and gratitude. And I, I thought we'd start on the hard work part first, because, you know, we've got people that listen to this show, that are members of our syndicate that want to be entrepreneurs or they want to be successful entrepreneurs. And this is a great time to remind people to do the hard work. You know, the job that you do should be your mission. You know, you should have that killer instinct that takes over to say, I want to do, do the best job I possibly can. And I'm not afraid to put in the hours to do it. And I'm saying this thinking about you, uh, you know, grinding it out during the holiday season at UPS in the morning. Um, you know, many people know already that, you know, you picked up this job as a way to work out and stay active. And uh, but, you know, you're putting in some hard work over there. And I love hearing your stories when you get back, you know, from your, your morning shift. And, uh, you know, the boxes that you threw and the relationships you built and the camaraderie and all those other things, because it just shows that, you know, you're paying attention to the details, the moments on the job and everything that goes into that, just like we should be as entrepreneurs. Exactly. And we've, we've talked about this before. You you have to embrace what it is you're doing. And a lot of people, they they want this prize. You know, they, they think entrepreneurship is like a prize as opposed to a journey, right? It's like everybody wants the destination. They want to, you know, be in charge of their own hours. They don't want to have a boss. They want to be the one making the decisions. They they look at the, the end goal, you know, the time off, the the success and all that. But that's that's the prize. You know, that's that's the destination. And you have to practice delayed gratification. And part of delayed gratification is putting in the work. Mm -hmm. That's just part of it. Yeah, I, you know, I, was I was chuckling to myself this morning. I volunteered, you know, myself to have cattle on my property here. And we've got six, as you know, and winter's in full swing. And what I didn't count on was the pasture that I lease for my cows that they were going to be doing some bulldozer work there the last couple of months and they wound up killing the power. Well, it doesn't seem like a big issue, right? The, the cattle have plenty of grass down there and I'm going to feed them hay through the winter season. The, the fences are good, but you know, that power powers up the water warmer that I have down there so that the, the water doesn't freeze over. Right. So guess what I'm doing, Rod, because there's no way to get power to where they're at. You know, it'd be a 400 foot extension cord from the closest outlet. I'm running down there every morning. I can't take my side-by-side -side down there anymore. The, the, the snow's too deep right now. Uh, I'm running down there every morning with an ax and hacking up the two inches of ice over the water and then running some fresh water over the top of that and then digging out the ice, right? I'm doing the hard work, not only to keep the cattle alive, right, and give them a good source of water, but, you know, I volunteered for this. This is a business that I started and something that I wanted to do. And, you know, the thing is, we get to post the fun pictures, you know, the pretty sunset with the cattle in the foreground and the, the snow in the background. But 
I can't post the picture of hacking up the ice because I'm busy hacking the ice. <laughs> right. You know? right. Um, it's just a reminder. You know, everything comes with with labor and effort. Right. And delayed gratification. I love my experience working on farms and ranches was just that that the big takeaway that I, I got from that experience was there's no instant reward in any of that. There's not. It's all toil. It's all sweat. It's all toil until the end. And then you get it. And that's just like the journey of entrepreneurship you know, or starting your own business and, and working into that. But you can enjoy that journey and it can be fun. You will have stories to tell. And by the way, uh, when we're done with this call, I'll tell you a story about uh, there might be a solution for you with your water problem. <laughs> it, it goes it goes old school before we had electric. <laughs> I love there, it. I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you later. But again, it's enjoying the process. And one of one of my favorite stories and stories illustrate stories are how we remember things. And when when my children were younger and we had four, two boys, two girls, they were active. We were busy. My wife and I were both entrepreneurs while we had uh, outside jobs. So we have been a busy family always. And there are times when you just get frustrated. You know, there's the, the kids all had their own interests going in different directions. And then there's the mundane. Then there's the chores. The chores still have to be done, right? They're still running a household. And my wife came up with this saying that I've used ever since. And she, it was about laundry. Because it seemed like you would just finish a load of laundry and there would be another basket had to go in. We had busy kids, right? <laughs> and, and the laundry never ends. It just never ends. It's just like dishes. They never end. There's always more to do. And her, she coined this phrase. She said, I made friends with my laundry a long time ago. Mm. You have to make friends with the toil. It's not your enemy. It's, it's not there to rebuke you. It's not there to chastise you. It's not there to uh, shame you. It's there because it's there. That's all. It's just neutral. So make friends with it and, and don't look at it as a, an opposing force. It's just something you've got to do. And when you do that, it takes the sting out of the chore. It's no longer a chore. It's just something you get to do, which brings me to your other point, which is grateful. We're grateful we don't have to go down to the river with a, a rigid and hand wash clothes and then bring them back, you know, in a buggy or a cart or a wagon and hang them up. We're lucky because we have a washer and dryer right here in our house. We don't have to go to a laundromat. You know, there's so many things to be grateful for that we can take for granted unless we're in that grateful mindset. And that goes for, you just look around your house. You know, we most all of us, I'm sure on here, we've got power to our computers. We've got electricity. We've got indoor plumbing. Life is pretty darn easy. And we should appreciate that. Sometimes we forget. Yeah, you know, I, it's funny. I bring that story up. I'm utilizing the run down to the water bin and the axing uh, as far as my outdoor workout for 75 hard. But, you know, I am grateful that I have the health to go do that, you know, and, and I continue outside to get the rest of my 45 minute outdoor workout in. But, you know, what's great while I'm, you know, hacking the ice away and, and the water's coming back to the top. The cows are coming around. It, you, you've ever seen like a kid playing in a wheat field and they're running their hands across the top of the wheat. You know, yes. I'm standing in the middle of these six cows drinking water, just like rubbing their backs. And they're like so grateful, you know, that I've, I've given them fresh water again. And, and I'm equally grateful for not only a job well done and providing something, but the fact that, like you said, I get to do this, you right. know. And, and as we transition into this conversation of gratefulness, you know, oftentimes I talk about when you wake up in the morning, uh, writing down the five things that you're grateful for, or before you go to bed at night, like what we do in my house, as a family, we, we say out loud three things that we're grateful for every single day. And to your point, it could just be electricity, right? It could just be food on the table. It could be transportation or the opportunity to go to work. There's so much that we have here that others don't, but I, I really believe that having a sense of gratefulness before you go to bed 
or when you wake up, your life will be better because you understand what you've been given. And it's what we do with that, right? And if we can start with gratitude, we, we just become much better people and souls, not only for ourselves, but for others. Absolutely. And it's like everything else. It takes practice. You know, I, I look at our society today and people seem to be pretty divided, sour, sarcastic, uh, mean, <laughs> edgy, anxiety, stressed. You know, if, if you just walk through the stores, especially this time of year as we get toward the holiday season, and they should be out, you know, joyful, you know, look, I get to go get stuff for my family. I get to buy gifts. I get to do this. We get to have a meal together. We get to go do all this. And, and you don't really see that much of that. And it takes practice because we've had a lot of practice, especially, you know, the last couple of years with COVID and stuff, we've had a lot of practice being negative. And, and hunkering down within ourselves and not being out there. And so we need to shift gears, change course, do a 180, and start moving the other direction with all that and being more mindful of our gratitude, looking for those reasons to be grateful. And practice is what we, we say it all the time, whether it's sports, whether it's business, it's little things. You make one little change, one little shift and then do it regularly, and then make another little shift and do it regularly. And the next thing you know, you're that happy person that everyone, oh, he's always in a good mood. He doesn't get rattled, you know? It, what happens? Little shifts, but it's practice. Yeah, Rod, and, and I'll, I'll throw some final thoughts at this. I'll let you do the same. You know, thinking about gratitude, you know, as it, as it relates to being an entrepreneur first, is your gratitude for your ability to have your own business, to work for yourself, to dictate your schedules. Sometimes that gets lost in the shuffle because you're, you're doing the hard work or you're scratching at trying to be successful. But the fact is you're working for yourself. And that's, that's one of the greatest uh, benefits of being an entrepreneur and doing what you're doing. Hopefully it's something that you're passionate about. Now, if you're an entrepreneur and entrepreneur being the key word, you know, you're working for somebody else, but you could also be grateful for the work that you're doing and what you're receiving in exchange for that. So don't forget to be grateful at work, uh, whether it's your own business or working for somebody else. But as a practice, like what Rod said, I would encourage everybody when you get up, be grateful, take the time to write those things down. So you start your day with a sense of gratitude because everything after that will come much easier knowing that you're grateful for the things you have. And as we get into uh, this holiday season and we're around a lot of people, uh, it's time to be grateful for these things and uh, make that mental shift and practice the art of being grateful. So those are my closing thoughts. How about you, Rod? Well, I think my, my closing thoughts on this are that we can even be grateful for the challenges. You know, it's easy to be grateful for things that are easy. Right. It's easy to be grateful for electricity. It's easy to be grateful for great friends and family and all that. But we need to be grateful for the tough lessons we've learned, too. We, we, we need to learn to be grateful for the hard times because that's where we learn endurance. That's where we learn courage. That's where we learn that we can we can always do more, that we can e extend our limits, find new challenges uh, and go beyond. So I think. It's not just practicing being grateful, but being grateful for everything. Mm -hmm. There's that one degree shift. And so that's it. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. And if you're watching this a year from now and it's in the middle of summer, be grateful. It doesn't matter. The, the message is timeless. I love it, Rod. Thank you so much. Well, this is the Young Entrepreneur Syndicate podcast. If you're curious about what we're up to, you can go to youngentrepreneursyndicate.com and check out our coaching classes that we do on Monday nights. And if you're an owner of a corporation or if you're an entrepreneur and you want to bring some value to that company, you can sign up for our corporate program and bring the Young Entrepreneur Syndicate to your company or somebody that you work for. We'd love to uh, make you a part of what we're doing and bring some extra value there. So if you like the show, share it with a friend. Thanks.